Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, we are moving into the season of fall, one of my favorite seasons of the year. This is autumn equinox, and it begins on September the 22nd. And those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, you're going to experience a season of spring. Now, the reason why this is my favorite time of the year is because I love storms. I just love the ambience of storms, the lightning, the thunder, the sounds, the rain. I love it all. And I also love being cozy and comfortable in my home. I love wearing my house coat. I love going out and getting lattes. It's just a wonderful time. Now, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with a divine healing oracle message. This comes with an affirmation. And then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the messages from the spirits of nature oracle. And then I'm going to end off with an angel number for you. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Leo, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you, my friends, bless everything bless everything some of you might have seen a porcupine in your life this is your confirmation today if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now on your screen we have the number 15 on this card this could be a number that you're seeing in your life right now perhaps you were born on the 15th some of you might be a life path number six as well these are all coming in as confirmations for you so the message is see the good in all things express your gratitude for what brings you joy and live life with appreciation so once again, see the good in all things. Express your gratitude for what brings you joy and live life with appreciation. Now this comes with an affirmation. I'm going to read this to you. Feel free to write this down and use it in your life. I bless everything with my words and actions. I bless everything with my words and actions. All right. So look at that. Bless everything. All right, Leo, let's pull some more cards and see what else is coming through. So five of pentacles, perhaps you're going through a temporary period of hardship. Maybe you're focusing on the wrong things. I feel this has a lot to do with your perspective, the way that you're choosing to show up in the world, um, the way that you're choosing to experience everything that you feel is happening to you. So Spirit is asking you to shift the way that you're looking at the world and your situation here. Leo. So the Five of Pentacles to start. We also have the Justice card. Perhaps you're looking for justice. Maybe something unfair has happened to you, Leo, and you're seeking justice around that. I'm seeing courts. I'm seeing paperwork here. Whatever is meant to happen is going to happen in the way it's meant to happen here for you. So you have to release any kind of pressure or strings that you have attached to the outcome of whatever this justice card is for you. Now, the Justice card is a major arcana card. This energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely, while others you're going to feel this subtly. All right, I'm getting a trophy coming in for some of you as well. Queen of Swords. So we have an open and receptive energy, a lot of clarity here, foresight as well. I'm seeing growth and abundance surrounding you. Leo, very powerful energy here. Spirit is wanting you to work with this energy in your life. 
Now, I want you to also use your own intuition with my readings today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. This will strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that. So those of you that are seeing the numbers 5, 11, and 13, this is coming in as a confirmation for you um, that there's definitely something in this reading for you today. And also the numbers 5, 1, 1, one, three in that sequence, somewhere in your life. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs and share this reading with someone that might need to hear its message. All right, so the five of pentacles here, a temporary period, that's all this is. This too shall pass for you, Leo. Okay, some of you may be going through something specific in your life. It could be a specific area of your life that might not be doing well. Maybe you're thinking about these things that aren't going well for you, maybe focusing a lot of energy there, which is creating more of this energy in your life. So this is where spirit is wanting you to be watchful of where your thoughts are at this time. To not dive into that lower vibrational energy, because I'm seeing some of you kind of diving into this lower vibrational energy and remaining there. So you have to pull yourself out of this. I know sometimes when we actually are going through challenges, hardships, obstacles, it can get tough and it's tough to even be motivated or even inspired to get through it, especially if it's something that's really, really difficult. Spirit wants you to tap into your inner strength. The number five brings about change. So I know that some of you are going through some change in your life. Maybe it's uncomfortable. It's throwing you out of your comfort zone. But the fact that you're out of your comfort zone, you're now going to be able to learn in this new terrain. You're meant to tap into your inner strength and grow from this experience because you're evolving through it. You're becoming that version of you that is meant to be on the other side. But in order for you to be there, you have to go through this experience to grow. So this is all this is for you, is a growth opportunity. So I want you to actually look at it like that. Look at it through the, uh, the lens of abundance not scarcity, right? And I'm seeing a lot of different things that you've got whirling around in your mind. Maybe you're trying to juggle your finances in some way. Perhaps money is on your mind. Leo, you're thinking about ways to make money. Maybe you're not finding a good way. Maybe you're just not sure what to do with this, right? What do I do here? Spirit is saying that there's so many tools that are available for you, Leo, that you can do anything that you want. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I had no idea how to do YouTube. And I just had to get in front of the computer and start looking at videos and learning about it. And this is all spirit needs you to do is gain more information to understand something that maybe you're kind of whirling around in your mind thinking about, right? If it's money, sometimes it's good to learn about money, right? Maybe reading up on money, releasing any kind of beliefs that work against your, your desire for money, right? And the other thing is grounding yourself at this time. Sometimes what happens is when we go through hardships, we almost feel like things are out of control. They're spiraling out of control. So make sure you ground yourself. Take things one at a time rather than feeling the overwhelm of everything. Spirit wants you to be flexible and adaptable at this time as well. Okay, they want you to be like a shapeshifter to move through this energy, uh, shaping and shifting and kind of working with it. We experience a lot of changes in our lives, right? Changes are ever present. And the more quickly we can learn to work with change, create a healthy relationship with change, the better that we're able to tread through it. And what's happening here is because you're growing through this experience, Leo, you're going to come out, this, out of this very successful you're going to come out of this very, very successful, my friend. So remember that. So any kind of challenges that come along your path here, everyone, if something's throwing you out of your comfort zone, look at it as an opportunity to grow. Let's uh, put our thinking caps on here and see what we can do to figure our way through whatever this patch of energy is. Okay, and you're going to get through it. You're very capable. Spirit is saying you're very capable. You have tools. You have resources available. All right, so they want you to reach out for those resources. Now we've got the justice card. Maybe there's some worry or something going on around the justice card. 
the energy of justice. Um, what I'm getting here is some of you might be seeing the number 11s around you. This is coming in that letting these numbers are coming in, letting you know that you're in alignment. Some of you might be going through an awakening. Um, maybe you're going through a period right now where you're finding that karma is taking care of business, um, that justice is being served in some way. And some of you are still seeking this spirit is saying what you seek seeks you as well. Okay, what you seek seeks you as well. You need to release any kind of pressure you have on yourself tied to this justice energy. This could be something to do with court, some sort of a lawsuit, some sort of divorce, something that, you know, is being settled in court, whatever this is for you. Um, paperwork, something to do with your passport. Um, I don't know, maybe trying to get into a country. Like these are all kinds of things. Maybe you're signing a contract. Um, paperwork that you signed off on you're kind of dealing with stuff around that it's really interesting um, and you're kind of weighing the scales here trying to figure out okay what is it that I can do what I can't do I need some answers this is taking too long there's been all these delays I feel some of you had to jump through a lot of hoops you're still jumping through hoops maybe you're dealing with someone specific um, around this that is maybe making your life miserable right now. Maybe you're just not having a good time and that is your lower period. So release this energy, release this weight, release the outcome, release the strings that you have attached around whatever this is, right? Spirit is saying surrender, release it, let it go and you go about your day, go about your business not thinking about it, not putting your energy there, because the more that you think about it, the more that you're going to get better at thinking about it and experiencing it, right? Law of attraction works both ways, everyone. So let's shift this energy into something more productive, into something abundant, rather than focusing on something that might be out of your control. Everything's going to happen the way it's meant to happen. And I feel releasing control of this is in your best interest, Leo. And I'm also getting here... Um, some of you that are going to make a very powerful decision in your life, and this is almost, it feels like life or death, or it feels like the end to all or be it all. I think that's the saying. If I'm saying it incorrectly, please feel free to share, uh, correct me in the comment section below. But this is really interesting. Maybe there's something that happened in your life, a period in your life that was a lower point for you. And perhaps you haven't shared something with someone, um, but I feel the time is coming in where things are about to open up again. I feel this is happening in the world, just uh, on a global level, but it's also happening for people um, in a more personal, individual level, right? It's not that you're keeping a deep, dark secret, but maybe you are, right? But whatever this is, I feel it is coming to light and perhaps this is why some of you might be feeling a certain way. This doesn't have to be negative or good. This could be just something that um, is putting a lot of pressure and worry in your mind. And perhaps you're worrying and spending time focusing too much on, you know, what might happen, playing different scenarios in your mind, maybe going back and reliving something over and over again. This is popping up. So this is where you don't want to put your energy. You don't want to keep thinking about something over and over again, reliving that experience and energizing it to actually take over your life. So they're wanting you to release a lot here, Leo. And it's not that you have to release it all at once. It's that you want to take steps to start releasing whatever this energy is of the five of pentacles and also tied and intertwined with the justice card. I don't know if any of you have recently got a speeding ticket, anything to do with a car accident. Maybe you were passing by one, maybe yourself, you were involved in a car accident. I feel things are going to be ironed out here. And those of you that are... Um, going to a different country, something to do with a contract. Maybe this is, you know, a company that you're going to work for and I'm getting travel here with this or something. Uh, there was like a wrongdoing done to you and all of a sudden things are now um, starting to move forward with some sort of a case here. And it's going to have a really, there's going to be a really good outcome for you. And for some of us out there, Spirit is saying here, Whatever happens, it's meant to happen the way it's happening. There's a per bigger purpose around what is happening here. Okay, so there's something that you're not seeing is what they're saying. There's something that you're not seeing. And by backing off and surrendering and releasing any kind of strings you have attached to whatever this desired outcome is, 
um, it's going to do what it needs to do and show up in the way it's actually meant to show up in your life. And what's happening here is they want you to ground yourself and really connect with spirit at this time. I'm getting prayer. Implement prayer as a daily practice in your life. Maybe before you go to bed, if you were to say a short prayer. Um, to allow yourself to be open and receptive to spirit. I've got a beautiful energy coming into your life. I feel some of you are distracted uh, from this energy because of whatever it is that you're going through here with this energy of these two cards together. This doesn't have to be something ne negative. This could be something that happened temporarily, like your tire went flat and maybe you're waiting for your car to get fixed and maybe you're deciding whether or not you should buy a new car now, something like that, right? Some of you are already in this energy of the Queen of Swords where you have a lot of clarity. You're very focused right? You know where your destination is and what it is that you're doing in your life in order to get there. And maybe you're dealing with a few little hiccups in your life, but you're dealing with them really good because you're very good at dealing with problems, right? You're able to see them through. Nothing can actually hold you back. You will usually weigh your options and you're really good. Your intuition is really good. You listen to your intuition. Leo, this is what it is. You listen to your intuition and I'm seeing a lot of growth. I'm seeing abundance here and it's through the energy that you're putting out there. There's a lot of love here in this card, a lot of nurture. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself, your well-being as you're moving through whatever it is that you're moving through. Nurture, nurturing yourself, making sure that you're energized and not drained of energy. I feel that I see a lot of people. This is what I get. Whenever I go downtown or if I'm out just walking the streets and it's busy, there's a lot of tired people. People that don't like to smile at other people. This might be just Vancouver in general, BC. It is kind of that kind of a city, right? BC, Vancouver, just the people here. I've heard stories, but I've, I've actually experienced this where people don't smile at you. Everybody's kind of in their own world. I feel your world is open. Your world is abundant. You have a lot of connections here and it's because of the way that you choose to see the world, the way that you choose to show up in the world, the way that you choose to work with the energies around you, even your own energy. And this gives you clear focus. Um, it gives you confidence to make the right decisions, right? And this is the energy that spirit actually wants you to embody in your life right now. First, by starting by grounding yourself, putting some roots in the ground right? Having some sort of a plan around your life organization as well. The queen energy always reminds me of a new mother. Okay. And this one is the pre-planning before, before the baby arrives, right? So it, it's all, you know, the getting the baby's room ready, making sure you're taking care of yourself and your health, right? While the baby's in the oven, um, getting ready to come out into this world, right? All the preparations that you have to make in order for this to happen. And then in a split second, once that baby is born, your life changes, right? And there's that learning curve there with all of that, with the newborn child, right? All these things that you learn and grow from. Some of you have already gone through these experiences many times, especially if you have more than one child, right? So it's just this wisdom, this understanding, this knowing, it naturally comes to you. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, if you're able to release any of these energies around you, especially the five of pentacles where you're not focusing on scarcity, you're not focusing on lower vibrational energy, but keeping yourself high in this vibration and frequency, right? These kind of things happen daily. Little, little things happen all the time, right? So we can't let them take our power, right? So this is where you take your own power back and you unleash it in the world in the way that you choose to, but it's coming from a, a place of love. So when we come from a place of love, everyone, we see that love coming back tenfold. And when we're giving our love and our energy out there to anyone and experience, if we give that love unconditionally without any kind of strings attached, this is where we see the biggest difference in our life. If you find that you're connected to a person that's always taking, you feel drained because the more energy that you give, you feel worse after you spend time with them, then maybe it's time to limit the amount of energy that you're giving to this person. I feel that people are drawn to you at this time. They enjoy your words of wisdom. There's a lot that you can share with people. I do feel that you, Leo, are meant to write your story to write your story, express yourself in a creative way, um, in your own true nature, however that shows up for you in the material world. I feel this is now being connected to some of you. You know what your purpose is, right? You're meant to follow it, find a way to align to this path. 
It's all tied to your desires, your passions, your, you know, the bigger vision around your life. What is that? What is it that you're wanting to experience in your life? Leo, to visualize it and to actually send it out into the universe and believe in it without conviction, with conviction, sorry. All right, so they want you to have faith, walk the path of faith here and bless everything. This is a place where you're blessing everything. The blessings are coming back to you, right? And perhaps right now, some of you might be feeling like you're going through a period where you have your porcupines out, the little, the spikies out. I don't know what those are called. I call them porcupines. So you might have your porcupines out, keeping yourself safe uh, in a safe space but you're meant to actually grow. So sometimes when we're meant to grow, that's our part of our purpose. It's going to happen for us. We're going to go through some uncomfort, right? So know that you're growing, you're evolving, you're coming to this beautiful, abundant place, Leo. So let's go ahead and pull a bonus card from the Spirits of the Nature Oracle deck and read you the interpretation from the guidebook here. So we are getting for you, Leo. Honeybee, community, look at that, honeybee, community. So some of you are a queen bee, look at that, that's the queen of swords. So the number here on this card is 17. Some of you might be seeing the number 17 or bees around you in your life somewhere. This is a confirmation for you today. Some of you might have been born on the 17th. That's also coming in as confirmation. So those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 17 days, 17 hours, 17 weeks around the message of this card, but also the 17th of the month. So the message here for you is honeybees are flying insects found in every continent in the world except for Antarctica. They forage for nectar and pollen helping flowers, fruits and vegetables grow by transferring the pollen between the male and female parts of the plant. They live in a collective and the large populations of each beehive work together successfully through clear divisions of responsibilities. The queen bee is the mother of all other bees in a hive. Drones are males and their only job is to mate with queens from other hives. Worker bees, which are all female, make up 99% of a colony's population. They are responsible for everything, including feeding the larvae, the baby bees, tending to the queen, cleaning the hive, collecting food, guarding the colony, and building the honeycomb. Although the activity in the hive may seem random, there is an innate organizational purposeful direction to all this activity with clear communication and a group consciousness that supports the ongoing existence of this species. You are an integral part of a community, one composed of people related by blood, friendship, or another type of common bond. Lately, you found yourself thinking about this or that person, but have generally dismissed the thoughts and feelings that triggered these remembrances as random and inconsequential. You may have even experienced other external reminders of that individual, such as their name popping up in conversations or symbols appearing that remind you of them. These synchronicities are prompted by the collective consciousness, an invisible web in which we humans are all connected. Threads are more concentrated in those that are part of a more immediate community. Stories abound as to how someone got a sudden urge to call a relative or a friend and then discovered there was an urgent need they could now serendipitously meet. It's critically important as at this time to trust these cues and act on them so as to actively acknowledge the physical and spiritual connection you have with these important people in your life. Pause for a few moments and allow yourself to stretch the limits of what you ordinarily think as a community and realize that you are connected to the entire human race. So look at that, Leo. Honeybee, community coming in for you today. All right, let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting 1313, starting fresh. If you're seeing this number in the sequence, this is your message today. So step out of your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. All your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. Leo. So this comes with some keywords. Some of you might be resonating with these. Encouragement. You're being given encouragement right now. Goals, foundations, creative ventures, and communication are all coming in for you right now. 
Hey, my beautiful friends, I'm so happy to announce that we now have memberships available on my channel. So those of you that have been looking to support me, my channel and my work, you can now do so by becoming a member of this channel. As a member, you get perks. Some of those perks right now on the level one scale are custom badges and emojis that I made myself for all of you to use. All right, and there's more levels incoming over the next little while here. But first, we've got the level one, which is the beautiful friends at $2.99. So if you're interested in supporting me, this is a really good way to do that. So I'm looking forward to see where we could take this community. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you because without you, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much, everyone. So this is your message, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.